This tablet, I'm impressed. With an impressive 12.3 inch OLED display, incredibly slim and light, useful accessories, and AI incorporated in the software. I'm M. Kwan, this is the Honor Magic Pad 2. I've been using this, and in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about my experiences with this tablet. Now, I normally talk about the price at the end of the video, but it's too good not to mention at the beginning because when it comes to value, you're gonna get a lot from the Honor Magic Pad 2. This, at the time of filming, is gonna be available for 2,099 dirhams which equates to about 571 US dollars. Absolutely incredible value because not only are you gonna get the Honor Magic Pad 2 with accessories like the 66 watt Honor Supercharge right out of the box. By the way, this is standard USB-A to USB-C cable, but that is gonna give you fast charge. But Honor are also including some free gifts, including accessories like the Honor uh, Magic Pencil 3 and this keyboard stand case, which I'll talk more about later on in the video. But from a value proposition, very, very good. And the value doesn't just stop there when it comes to price. There's a lot about value that carries on through the tablet itself. Now, I really, really like the design on this. Check this out. Not only is it got a slim profile, as you can see over here, but look at that. It's incredibly, incredibly light, which is very important for a productivity tool like this, a tablet. It's really, really impressive. On the back, this is the white version that I have. This is called Moonlight, but it's actually available in a black as well. But I don't know if you can tell here, this Moonlight variation with different lighting, you can see this kind of like marble effect on the back looks and feels very premium, very nice. I love how there's minimal branding, the Honor logo over here, IMAX Enhance. I like, really like the camera module on the back, but on the front here is probably the big standout feature. That is this beautiful, expansive 3K, 144 Hertz refresh rate display. It's an OLED display as well. And at this price point, very, very impressive. Not only is it super smooth with that refresh, and you'll notice that when you're going through different apps, you're playing games, multimedia, but it also has really good brightness. Being out here in the Middle East, where sun is a big factor that can impede you know, productivity, and when we're using our tablets and devices, this has 1600 nits of brightness, which means it's gonna be very good at dealing with that issue. Now, as you can imagine, this display is stunning. For an OLED display, you can really see the differences between the deep blacks and the color variants. And it honestly, it's very difficult to show that through on camera. Now, being an OLED display um, and the way that we might use our tablet, this might cause issues if you're viewing media in low light conditions. But thankfully, within the settings, what Honor have incorporated is something called eye comfort display. So there's things like defocus eye care if you suffer from myopic eye comfort to help filter out the blue light. There's also dynamic dimming and then uh, support for ultra high frequency PWM dimming as well. All of these can be accessed within the settings and they essentially mean that you get the most out of this OLED display without harming the eyesight. Now, one of the standout features, which is gonna be really hard to demo this on the video, is the sound quality because it has eight speakers in this tablet. And honestly, you have to hear it for real to appreciate the quality of the sound. Check this out. Let me put it up to about 70%. It is just so vibrant, really, really good quality. Now, when it comes to spec performance, this model that I've been using has a Snapdragon 8 S Gen 3 processor, and that's paired up with 12 GB of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage, which I think for most people is more than enough. Now, I've been testing this out with things like CapCut for editing. I've also been using the AI feature on the native photos app, which I'll talk about in a moment. Um, but I think multimedia, productivity, a whole range of those different features that most people would use their tablet for, nice and fluid throughout. I haven't experienced any jittery uh, or slowdown or lag at all. So I don't think there's anything to be worried about there. In terms of what powers this, you have Android, and this has on its own magic uh, OS, this runs with Magic OS 8 right out of the box. And there are a bunch of really, really cool AI features. A couple of our, those I'll talk about in a moment, which I really liked. But in terms of the software experience, um, you're getting the full Android experience along with Google 
Play Store access as well. So if there's applications that you want to download from there, there's no workarounds or anything like that. It's just a fluid, um, seamless experience throughout. Now, I really like some of the AI features incorporated in Honor Magic OS. Uh, a couple of these we've seen from flagship devices, like the portal, for example, where you can click and move it to the side and get some quick action tools. Uh, so for example, add this image to a type note or send it to a Facebook group. That's really easy to do. And we've seen these on the flagship uh, devices. But some of the other ones that um, we haven't seen before or slightly differently uh, designed on the Honor Magic Pad 2 are things like this compare. So for example, let's say I've got four different images. I don't know, perhaps you've got some selfies that you wanna take and you wanna compare them. You can actually do this where you select the four of them and there's now a button down here where you can compare the images and you can decide which one of those you like. It's a really cool practical feature, especially when you're taking multiple photos and you wanna just compare how they look. I, I really like that feature. AI arrays that we've seen on things like the Honor Magic V3, this is now available on this tablet and it's very, very helpful because it allows you to make those quick tweaks using AI. Okay, when it comes to tablets, one of the big costs that starts mounting up is different accessories. So I think with this price point and what Honor have done, the range of accessories that are available uh, and the pricing for those is gonna help with the overall uh, productivity enhancement for this tablet. So things like the Honor Magic Pencil 3, this is something that you, know, you can easily attach to the top, works via magnets, nice and easy, whether it's in portrait or landscape mode, uh, it's used to charge, used to connect, uh, but it's also very helpful, particularly if you're gonna be doing a lot of things like uh, drawing, doodling, uh, you know, even handwriting. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, the handwriting tool also incorporates AI in here, so you're able to record um, you know, lectures have those uh, written out for you and even works with dual speakers. Very, very helpful uh, use there, particularly for handwriting and students. Uh, but this pencil, yeah, it's, it's a nice addition to have and it's also something that you can use for various productivity elements. The other one that I really like is this keyboard. So this keyboard is uh, a simple keyboard that acts like a, a cover as well. It's kind of this um, leather, faux leather, I would say, plastic sort of material, got nice tactile feedback from the keyboards there. I think my only criticism about this tablet case is the fact that there's no trackpad here because the way I use it, uh, I would like to have had a trackpad area down here. Um, saves you just having to keep going to touching the screen when you're in the typing mode and editing mode. But other than that, I think as a productivity addition to the tablet, the Magic Pad 2, it's actually pretty good. So that's the Honor Magic Pad 2, definitely worth considering if you are planning on getting a Android tablet that is gonna be great for productivity. At this price point, it's very, very hard not to recommend checking this out at least. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you've enjoyed this video and wanna see more around tech, AI, and lifestyle from here in Dubai, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. I'm M. Kwan, peace and blessings.